Hello guys, so welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So, what surah should you recite to when you are sad? So, Mufti Kmek is going to tell us the surah you can recite to when you are sad. Let's watch. But the strange thing, Brother Musa, is when we don't remember Allah at all, a day passes, two days pass, three days pass, and we haven't even thought of Allah. We haven't spent a moment with Allah, but we've spent hours on end at work and doing so and so whatever else we're doing without remembering Allah that's what's scary mm. I think every one of us today this reminder should make us from those who put back Allah into the equation put him back even if it's you're driving subhanallah alhamdulillah mashallah tabarakallah la ilaha illallah subhanallah bihamdi subhanallah alazim that's a powerful remembrance of Allah and that's the topic today powerful remembrance of Allah say these words learn their meanings because they will they will be more powerful when you know the meaning of what you're saying people ask me you know I'm feeling sad what should I read I say read surah to duha but don't read it without reading its meaning as well if you read surah to duha wa duha wa layli idha saja many of us know exactly what that surah is but we don't know its meaning you say what duha, they'll say what layli idha saja straight away. Even the kids. Ma wa da'aka wa ma qala. Do you know what that means? Your Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he upset mm -hmm. with you. Nor is he angered with you. Many of us feel Allah is upset with us. Perhaps he's angry with us. Perhaps we've done something. If whatever has happened has drawn you slightly closer to Allah, it's not the anger of Allah. It's the pleasure of Allah. It's the gift of Allah upon you. So inshallah, we can increase that remembrance of Allah upon all conditions and everything we do. Don't let anyone discourage you. You know, some people also say that, you know, I feel so discouraged because I feel like I'm very far from the mercy of Allah. And when I sit and talk to them, a lot of the times it's someone who's outwardly more pious having said something that makes them very, very negative. You know, if I'm already in hell, what's the point of doing any goodness? Who says you're already in hell? The people who said that, they've got to be there to have seen who's in hell. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. get that? If someone says you're in hell, well, that means they, they're there already watching who's there and who's mm -hmm. not. You know, it's like a guy says, I saw you in the nightclub. Well, how did you see me? You were yeah. there, right? Exactly. So how did you see these guys in hell? So stop saying that. Stop discouraging people. Shall we? We all would like the, the pleasure of Allah. May Allah make it easy for us. Barakallah. Yes. Beautiful. Guys, please, I want to know the difference between surah and dua. And dua. Dua. D-U-A. I want to know the difference between surah and dua. So, this was a powerful one. It's just trying to let us know that we should always put God first in everything we do. Every activities, our activities, daily activities, we should put God first. Even when we are busy, we are at work and we are working and you don't have chance to pray. Just say no one minute prayer or just thank god oh god i'm thankful god thank god for life lord lord i'm grateful you know say short words to god short prayer to god while you're on your seat always make sure that you put god first you remember god in in your daily activities in your daily life you know you don't forget the the you don't know, forget God in the process of you trying to make ends meet or, to, or for you trying to get a better life. And you know, like he said, he said, stop discouraging people. Don't say that because they are living this kind of way doesn't mean they cannot change. If you are not living according to the ways of God, according to the ways of Allah, and definitely one day, one day, the person will see the light and will draw closer to God. But that doesn't mean you should, you should you know, be against them or try to tell them that, oh, because of your behavior, you go to hell. You go, have you been there? Like you said, said anybody that can say, oh, this person is going to this place, or this person is at this place, that means you've been there. For instance, you made mention of club, that when somebody goes to club and say, ah, I saw you at the club, I saw you at the party, it's because you were there. So don't discourage people and let them, don't judge people and discourage them and say that, oh, because you are living this life. You, are, you end up this, like this. Even there are some people that even though you are living the, the best life of yourself, you're trying to be devoted. Some people will still have comma, comma. They will still have one thing to say about you. Nobody's perfect, but let us all f not forget that God should be involved in everything we do. That was a beautiful one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.